sharks! What's up all you underwater dwelling dudes and dudettes, Toysh is here and I got a really quick video for you today. We're going to be checking out the brand new Mattel Aquaman and his warrior shark from the new Aquaman movie and this thing is actually pretty cool. It's kind of one of those figures you can kind of play with it in stores. I really, really liked it when I saw it at the STCC, the big Aquaman setup that they had going on in the Mattel booth. It was amazing, and I thought, you know what? Hey, this is going to look pretty good on my shelf, being that it's a giant shark and your Aquaman figure gets to ride it. Now, comes with shark, Aquaman, and a bunch of other stuff. Apparently, you can shoot some missiles. You push a little button and a little tail wags, mouth opens, and all that great stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this and check out the brand new Aquaman with his warrior shark. Now, if you were wondering, this isn't the DC Multiverse version or anything like that. This is the more reduced, simplified let's say kid kidified versions of the Aquaman toys that Mattel makes but I gotta say I really like this shark you push this little button here and his mouth opens tail wags and all that kind of stuff I'm liking the packaging it's a very open packaging it's like what they're doing with the Jurassic World figures I dig it I love the face on this guy on the back this is his ultimate Atlantean vessel just just FYI that's actually kind of cool it's Aquaman riding a giant shark. You guys remember that Injustice video game? That was totally awesome. He also did in the comics all the time. Got different modes, got different ways to kind of display him. So I, I'm, I'm digging this thing. I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to work, especially since I bought it for my DC Multiverse Aquaman figure. And we just got to really see how this thing turns out, to be honest. Let's get into it. Who are you just a man or a Superman the man? And if you know that song, major props to you. Anyways, here's what you get inside the packaging. We get the shark, we get Aquaman, we get a trident, some missiles, a little blue thing, and then a shark fin that you can attach and a little bit. So a nice little packaging full of stuff. Not bad for 30 bucks, but will it hold up to what it says it can do? Let's find out. And as I said before, this is not the DC Multiverse Aquaman, but it's a very nice Aquaman nonetheless. Nice dry brushing on the hair. Really dig that. A really nice face sculpt, by the way, too. Overall... Sculpting looks nice. It's just going to be one of those figures where people are going to say, yeah, it's the articulation's not there. And it isn't. However, you can, you know, for what he is, you can get a good range out of him. The way he swivels and his feet go up and down. He's got knee and nothing at the feet. His arms actually have the most articulation out of him. Elbows, wrist rotation, all that kind of good stuff. Can't complain about that. You can, like I said, you can get some range. But I'm going to show you just a bit on why this figure actually doesn't do too much. Head rotates. The hair is quite cumbersome when you want to do all that kind of good stuff. It, it's, it's just not the DC Multiverse Aquaman. The missiles are nice. They're a translucent blue, so that's always good. You get two of them, just in case you lose one, to be honest. And you get this water effect kind of deal, which I'll show how to attach to the shark in just a bit. You also get this nice trident. Now I'm going to point out in just a few that this trident is actually nicer than the one that came with the DC Multiverse. No joke. And of course you get the fin, which you can attach on the shark right here. The shark is painted nice. The whole reason why I bought this set, so can't really complain about him. Got nice paint overall. Nice bite right here. Chomping effect. The tail wags just by pushing this button right here it's a little bit stiff I'm not gonna lie it's you know you're a little kid or something like that and you're trying to push this button in it's not gonna be easy but maybe that's just on mine however it's not a bad thing you got this wheel on the bottom which lets the shark kind of roll around freely which is which is a nice thing and it actually stabilizes him well and you go ahead and you pop his other fin on and it goes in rather nicely I would say once it's in it's in don't don't take it out again it's one of those things looks nice looks flush all that kind of good stuff. And see, yeah, the uh, the wheel actually rolls. You don't want to push down on it because the fins are going to get in the way. You want to keep it so that he's a little bit up and rolling around. That's just the one thing that you want to look out for. The tail kind of drags a little bit, but if you're pushing down, it'll be fine. The mechanism on the back that shoots the missile is fairly easy enough to use. You kind of just pull back on the handlebars <laughs> for the shark, which, I mean, for lack of a better term, the little thing opens and you can go ahead and insert the missile right here and it actually works. It's pretty cool. I like this kind of functional weapon stuff for a shark. I don't know where exactly the missile, it would say the missile like kind of drops down into the shark itself. Maybe it's like a biomechanical shark. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, but nonetheless, that's really cool. It's a freaking shark that shoots missiles. So you can't, you can't be too mad about that. And the mouth, 
I'm having a blast with this thing. I think it's one of the best figures or just the most fun. It's like those, those Jurassic Park stuff, you know, and then when you lose a missile, like most kids are going to do, you just put a new one in and bingo, bango, shut the doors and Aquaman is ready to roll again with this. Now, this little thing right here is supposed to be a water effect and it actually just pegs in right here at the top of the crest of the saddle. Go ahead and fit that in. And it, it looks cool. And what you're supposed to do is take your Aquaman figure, get him in your best swimming pose, stick his arm out. He can kind of hold on to the shark's back fin right there. It's a little spongy material, so that's nice. It's an easy maneuver. And, and the Aquaman figure's nice because he does have an open hand, unlike the DC multiverse figure. Come on. And you just kind of prop him up like that. And it's supposed to be maybe he's holding on as the shark is moving through the water. Something like that. It's the most random thing, but that's what it says to do on the back of the box. So you can achieve it. You can get it done. It's totally random. I don't know. You tell me. Oof. Okay, so this is where things tend to go a little sour for this set. If you know, or if you know about articulation, you know that if your legs don't kind of move out, the inwards, outwards, all that kind of stuff, how are you supposed to get his legs open to fit on the shark. Now the back of the box says you can do it. You're supposed to be able to sit him in this saddle, but as you can see, you cannot even get, you can't split his legs apart far enough to get it onto the saddle and he'll just flip right back. So I, yeah, this, I'm glad I bought it for my DC Multiverse because you, you won't be able to do it. You, you break the legs before you'd ever get it in a good pose on that shark. And just in case you were wondering, here is Aquaman, the DC multiverse figure and the Aquaman basic figure. Here is their tridents. And I, like I said, the, the DC multiverse one, it might be more movie accurate if you want to say that, but it looks dinky compared to this new Aquaman figure. And I'm, I'm definitely digging this trident. It's massive. It's huge. It's a lot more menacing looking. It looks like what Aquaman would have. The DC Multiverse one, it just looks kind of small-ish and too thin. I don't know. It just... And like I said, it might be more movie accurate in that sense, but I'm kind of digging and more gravitating towards this smaller Aquaman's giant trident, which is really weird to say. All right, so I think this is what you've all been waiting to see. Like I said, DC Multiverse... You can pivot the legs out, you get the knees bent, you get them all ready to go, you can throw his hand up, throw this giant trident right in his hands. And there's a one hiccup still. There's no open hand on this Aquaman, so he can't hold anything. However, you can sit him right in, you put the hand down right on top of the steering wheel of the shark, basically. And bingo, bango, you've got your Aquaman riding a friggin' giant shark that not only shoots laser beams... But he just looks awesome. It's like riding into battle. That's this is cool. I'm glad. I'm glad this worked out because yeah, you cannot get the regular figure that the set comes with onto this saddle. It's just not gonna work. But dang, does he look great? And he's gonna look great on your Detolf. And just because we have to do it anyways, and you want to see it, here's Black Manta riding him. He's got his black sword and everything else. And this is awesome too. I'm kind of torn. Maybe if these things go on to clearance or something like that, I'm going to have to grab another shark or two or something like that. I still haven't seen the hammerhead one. However, this looks great. And just for fun, if you wanted to go ahead and say, you know what, I got a giant shark. Not only does my shark eat people, chew them up, spit them out, but it also has a giant friggin' laser beam. And if you push the button just right, boom, you can kill Aquaman with it. And that's just old-fashioned fun right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. So... That is my review for the new Aquaman and his warrior shark. There's a lot of problems with this figure, basically being that Aquaman himself can't even ride the shark, which is really, really weird. That's just a terrible, terrible thing. However, the shark itself can be used for the DC multiverse figures. You're kind of paying 30 bucks for a shark. In all honesty, I'm going to say wait for clearance because I have a feeling that these figures, and no offense to Mattel or anything, but you know how these things tend to go. They might go on a little bit of clearance. It looks really great with the black mana for the DC multiverse. It's going to look even better, I think. I'm kind of going back and forth, but I think it's going to look even better if you got the DC multiverse Aquaman. And also, heck, you could use the Super Friends Aquaman, all that kind of good stuff. It doesn't matter as long as you have a rad Aquaman figure riding a shark you're gonna be happy so without further ado 
Please hit the like button if you like this review. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when I post more videos just like this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some fantastic action figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Landshark.